All right, guys, we're back with another Edison Format Finals at Epic Cars and Games. we got Edgar on the left playing Pure Frog Monarchs and Lowe's on the right playing Ultimate Offering Zombies. So it looks like Edgar won the roll. He opens Swap. Send Treeborn. Okay. So this is Edgar's first time on the channel. First time I've seen him at the local in years. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of new faces. And by local for Edison, our community is growing every week. And Lowe's has been in the final. I lost track, man. <laughs> Especially lately. Lately, he's been on a uh, hot streak. So we'll see if Edgar can take him down. Uh, let's see. So Lowe's, just, Lowe's hand must be bad. He just set a back row. No. Or he could be playing around a Caius or Ryza. Does, maybe he doesn't want to set a monster. It's also another possibility. So there was a guy playing quick draw frogs round one. He actually played against Lowe's. And he also didn't send the second Treeborn, which I thought was weird. Because they're not playing like a Miracle Fusion deck. So... Why not send the second Treeborn there? I think maybe they're playing one, but I doubt it. It's just surprising. Maybe they're just trying to get the Swap Frog out of their deck. But anyway, uh, he drops a track. Does he have six cards in hand? I'm surprised he didn't bounce the Swap Frog. Unless he's not... I don't think he's got six cards. That's like the only reason you wouldn't bounce it. Unless you're trying to save the life points, but that's a huge track. It's at 3k... Now Los has got two back rows. Maybe he's got dust shoot. So he waits for the standby phase and then activates trap dust shoot. What's Edgar thinking about? Is he gonna chain econ or something? So he's got lad foolish swap brain econ. So yeah, the, his whole hand is dead. Let's see three six. Okay, so that's why he didn't return the swap. He had seven cards in hand. Now it makes sense. Okay, so he returns the lad. So now he Los knows his whole hand is dead. So what can he do? That foolish might be dead unless, unless if he's got a, if he wants to dump the second treeborn, but he can normal summon swap and dump the second treeborn. It's just it's up to him. Let's see what he decides to do. All right, what? <laughs> Why doesn't he want to get the second tree worn out of there? You could also just play the foolish. So I remember I was talking to this guy, or I heard him talking at the local. He plays like I think I think he plays nine monarchs, three rise of three kai's, three thestalos, and I think three lad. That's why he maxes out maxes out on econ and Soul Exchange. Oh, yeah, this is just a pure Frog Monarch deck, which I'm not, I, I, on paper, this deck sounds good, but I've tried it a few times and I just didn't like it. But I do think it, it can be a little bit more consistent versus, because like sometimes in the Hero Frog deck, you draw brick Miracle Fusions and you have no heroes or you draw too many normal summons. So I, I don't know. So here he miracles the Trag. Sorry, not Miracle. Econ's the Trag. I'm surprised Lowe's last turn summoned Plague and just, I guess he's just trying to poke him because he knows his hand is bad. I think that's why Lowe's did it. He's kind of like, okay, I know your hand is bad, so I need to be aggressive before you start drawing Monarchs and stuff. And right here, he's going to have to tribute summon Gores. Maybe he didn't have to. Actually, this is this is not a bad play because like you get rid of his trag. Because maybe Lowe's doesn't hit with the trag. It's possible. Okay, so he book of lives brings back plague. Is that oh ill blood? So he book of lives brings back plague tributes for ill blood ultimate offering. And now makes a dark end, special summon dark armed, and Edgar scoops. So quick game one. His hand was bad. Maybe he shouldn't have tribute summoned the gores. He would have had it and wouldn't have lost that turn. Just a thought. Would Los have gone for game the next turn? Maybe. Maybe he would have. Alright, so here he battle faders the goblin zombie, so that probably means he's got Caius. Los sets two. What back row would he set in the Frog Monarch deck? Oh, wow. Los doesn't have Rug. 
I was like expecting rug for sure. So prison Caius. Hmm. I think now Los has rug. Yeah. I think the card he drew was rug. Yeah. I don't think he would have summoned Gale unless he could stop a monarch. Because usually you'll hold the Gale to out a monarch. All right. So there's a foolish. Now he's got access to Treeborn. <clears throat> a lot of frog players don't like foolish. I remember when I was playing the <clears throat> the frog deck with Dandelion. I played Foolish in there, but it still wasn't that good because you can draw dead a lot. Okay, Lowe's Divas for Diva. Yeah, this deck doesn't normally play like Gilman, so he's just Divaing for Divaing. Probably just trying to slim down the deck before he draws the second Diva. I don't think he plays Miracle. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, he's just trying to slim down the deck and... What back row was it that he... What are these two back rows? Well, it's Edgar's back row that he has not used. Probably a Regeki break. So he's probably going to Regeki break. Unless he passed. Oh, no, he passed. Oh, it was Torrential. See, I think maybe Lowe's thought it was Regeki break. And then he got Torrentialed. Bad right there. And then Lowe's Crow's a Treeborn. And Zombies, I think Crow's okay. Because you have Book of Life as well. So you can get rid of both the Treeborn. So I don't mind... Crow in zombies against frogs. All right, so there's a Regeki break. He chooses the monster. Risky, risky, risky. Maybe he's got nothing else. So we know Los has got Mizuki now. So here back, it's Treeborn. Oh no, what if you hit the Mizook? <laughs> Oh, God. Yes, yeah, so he should have went for the back row. Oh, wow. He, I mean, it's a 33% chance. He's got one back row. Yeah, I would have Regeki braked. I guess he's just trying to, like... Hopefully it's a turtle, and then just hit him for 24. Uh, maybe he was right. I don't know. Depends on the rest of his hand. Oh, he's got Ryza, too. Now he's checking his grave to see what he's got. So Los has got two back rows. Man, people don't draw heavy. Every I do it one time on camera. I said two two back row, and my opponent rips heavy storm. <laughs> oh, he's got torrential. Yeah, see, I I thought that was risky, man. Now Los has got two back rows. Rising there into two backers was so risky. Especially like, I don't know. Do I do I like that play? Torrential's not gone. One for one pitch lad. Oh, he grabbed Battle Fader? What? Oh, he's going to drop another lad. Okay, so Lowe's might get cooked by Lad. Now that Torrential's gone, this might this might hurt Lowe's really bad. I wonder what he set. Maybe he's got a rug down there that's dead now because of the... So he goes Ultimate Offering, Chain, Mirror Force. Okay. So, Lad will still activate. He just grabbed back any Monarch, right? That's the biggest monster he's got. Los has got one card in hand, Mizuki. That's annoying. All right, so 24. Now, Los is a 22 to 63. But Los has got plays. He's got Mizuki, and this guy's got, like, no cards in hand. Well, he's got one card, which we don't know what it is. So Mizuki get Goblin. Diva's gone. What else could Los have? Caius. Okay, so there's the Caius. So he has not used his extra summon. He could get Reaper and get the last card out of his hand if he wants to. Yeah, he's, that's on top of his deck, so he's debating doing that. 
Do I think he will? Leave him with no cards. I think that's what Los is contemplating. And I think... It depends on his last card. I don't know what his last card is. Me knowing Los... Oh, he's trying to... He might go for Illblood and... I think Los is going to go for the Reaper. Yeah. That's what I think. So, he, yeah, you can see he's debating. So, he's got two rugs. He's got another rug in his deck. I just saw. But he's at 17 now. So, you could just lose to him attacking over your Reaper. Unless he's got a backer. I don't know what his last card is. So, I think maybe that's why he was debating on not getting Reaper. Because he could just lose if he just, like... Draws a Monarch and then attacks over your Reaper for game. Let's see if that's what happens. So this was a risky play by Los. What did he draw? Oh, enemy controller. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I'm thinking maybe getting Reaper there was not correct. Because it's just you're just so low. Econ was another card where you just lose to him top decking Econ. If, especially he didn't have defense. So here, he re Soul Exchanges, Spirit Reaper, hits Gale. He can't attack, so... I actually remember watching this game. Now Foolish is Treeborn. I think Lowe's, like, first turn sets Reaper, like, hoping that... Edgar goes like summon swap frog, dump treeborn, attack, and then he plants it in with Reaper the next turn. So here Lowe's brain controls, hits with plague and the solo, see if he does anything. Yeah, was that 20, 28, right? Yeah, 28. So what do you go for? It depends on what back rows you have. So he goes Stardust. Maybe he's got Stardust one back row. Mm, what if he's got like Master Strict? <laughs> Pulling the rug's good here too. Oh no. Yeah, see, Master Strict. Oh, that sucks. Oh no. Los is in trouble, man. Now he's staring down Lad. Edgar's got two cards in hand, so 52 36. Lad can be devastating at times, and in this scenario, we'll see if Lowe's can out it. Oh, wow, he had the dark arm. Yeah, that was like one of Lowe's few outs. But he probably had it. Now he can just attack over for five. Uh-oh. So he does set two. So soul exchange. Another lad. Oh, wow. So Los is up like on a bunch of cards, but this guy's got lad. So now Los has got three back rows. So, ultimate offering. What did he do? Oh, Regeki Break, D-Prison. So, Regeki Break, Chain, D-Prison. But now, they're now all of a sudden, Edgar's up on cards. Now, low sets two. Edgar passes. What's the back row? Is it Regeki Break, Torrential again? We saw him do Torrential turn one. And here, Lowe's doesn't play Diva, so I guess he's just trying to poke him. Oh, so he torrentials the double diva. Maybe he's got no monster in hand. I think that's why he torrential double diva. So here comes Treeborn. What does he got? The Stalos again? Oh, it does shoot. So his hand is Ryza, Ryza, the Stalos, Battle Fader. Okay, I think that's why he torrential the divas because he locked himself. See, sometimes you don't have to set torrential, man. It's like you can just keep it and like. I'm guessing he drew the Thestalos. 
And then he could like Ryza hit Ryza Lowe's, put the diva back on top of his deck. And then Lowe's is drawing a diva for his turn. Instead of just setting the torrential. And then you can hold torrential in case Lowe's fights back. But now he hits for 24. Lowe's top deck. So 47 14. So we know. Let's see, what can Lowe's do? It's, it looks bad for Lowe's. He's staring down Ryza. He drew a back row for his turn. So, how many cards does he have? Two or three? <clears throat> and when I'm, I was talking about the Sen Tarantula, especially you got Battle Fader. It's not like if Lowe's can't kill you, man. I mean, yeah, Los has got two cards. We know one of them is a back row, so what can he do? Los is afraid of getting Ryza, so he's thinking, what can I do to not lose the game here? So here, what is... I think it... Has Los used Torrential this game? So he prisons, brings back Frog. See, what I would have done is I would have checked his Torrential gone... Oh, now he's going to hot dash him. Yeah, now he can't use that Treeborn. <laughs> yeah, he can't use Treeborn. So, and Los is searching Zombie Master. Oh, I remember what happened. So, uh, Edgar didn't have the read on what the back row was. So, I think Edgar did not read that Los couldn't stop a summon. So, he should have gone for game last turn, but he didn't. I remember that's what uh, that's what Los was telling me, and I, when I was watching, because he rises at him the turn before, right? And Los didn't stop it, so yeah, he should have gone for game the turn before, because he knew unless he thinks Los was bluffing him, but it's unfortunately for Los. Yeah, Edgar should have won the turn before, but we'll see if Los can steal this game. He's at 47, but I think... Lo did Lowe send back the Battle Fader or the Testalos? I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention. So here... Oh, man. He's getting punished. Lowe's top deck. Mizuki. Sometimes it just happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you mess up and your opponent draws the right card and punishes you for it. Oh, wow. Did he top deck Gores? Now he attacks over the token. And yeah, Lowe's is, Lowe's is in trouble now. Now he's got Gores. He's got Ryza. Yeah, Gores, Ryza. And pass. I think he just drew Threatening Roar. This, this game should be over here. Just drop Ryza. Like, what does Los have left in his deck? I, I don't even know what do you put on back on top. Probably the Zombie Master, right? Does he have Ryza? I'm pretty sure he's got Ryza, right? Yeah, because he didn't do he didn't drop it on the D prison. So yeah, just Ryza him, put the Zombie Master, or you could put the Goblin on top. Yeah, maybe put the Goblin on top, and then just attack over everything. And then Los is drawing a Goblin Zombie. That seems like the best play. Yeah, well, I don't know why it took so long. Ryza, put the goblin. Unless, can you kill him? No, I don't think you can kill him. Yeah, put the goblin. Yeah, okay. And then just attack over everything. And then attack for whatever. And then next turn should be game. Unless Los has something in the graveyard and keep... Oh, he still, he still got Mizuki. I forgot he still got Mizuki. Whoops. I thought he used Mizuki already. But what does Los have left? He's like used all his zombies. Just another goblin? Oh, wow. Nice. No, that's not game. It's 400. Yeah, he thought it was game. Oh, no, he celebrated early. So now 29 to 150. I think he thought it was 200. You saw the, the offer of the handshake. We're like, no, that's not game. I think I'm the one who said something. I'm like, no, that's not game. And then 
Caius. Oh, no rug. What if Lowe's draws his own Caius? That would be an insane draw, but now nah, he draws a back row. Lowe's is at 150. That Reaper, now he's stalling with the Reaper. Oh, there's the Caius I was afraid of. Oh my god, Los is just coming back, but this game should have ended a while ago. I honestly forgot about Mizuki in the grave. So he's going for game, and there's Battle Fader. The Stalos. Regeki break, target the Caius. Oh, I think someone said uh, low. Okay, so he goes call. Oh, Lowe's gra grab Stardust. Okay. Pass. All Stardust. Threatening Roar set a monster. This has been a crazy, crazy game. Yeah, Los is fighting back, man. Even at 150 life points. Oh, I think I remember. Someone said Los messed up. And now now I now I see it. It was I think Alfred was the one who said it. Los could have Los could have uh could have called the revived king and attacked over the treeborn instead of bringing back Stardust. But I think it's I think Al why Alfred brought it up is cuz he had a back row though, right? Oh, Econ. So this is just game if Los can't stop it. Oh, but he's got Solemn. And he activates another Econ, and that's game. So yeah, I think that was like... Edgar should have won like way earlier, and he let Los come back into the game. And it's crazy how like Los was drawing the right cards. It just happens. But I think... Yeah, I remember Alfred was, was talking about uh, him grabbing the Hades and then attacking over the Treeborn. But he got Battle Faders, and... Uh, yeah, he had like Battle Faders, Econ. So I think Los was going to lose anyway. But, yeah, maybe grabbing hot desk there was better. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the finals. And, yeah, we'll be back soon for another tournament. Bye, everyone.